Hi you guys, it's me Bone Goddess. I'm going to make a quick video um, just because I'm driving and it's raining and I just gotta run a couple of places today. I don't understand why it's raining and it's cold yet a freaking again. It was just warm yesterday and now it's cold and raining again. And the last time I uploaded was the video that we received like two um, feet, two feet of snow up here. And it was, look, the kids were going crazy. They loved it. They loved it. I, I'm not even going to lie. The last time I um, experienced snow fall, like actually snow fall in the middle of it was when I was in um, Mobile and Mobile, Alabama. And we were gone to see, um, what was it? What, what did we, I think we went, no, we was, we were the chillest. But I was thinking it was the day we went to go see the, uh, Black Panther movie, but that was a whole other day. But yeah, that was the last time it was, like, a, two years ago. Yeah, like, two, two, two years ago, I think. And, uh, it was, it was so cool. It's just, I don't know, I just like how snow looks, because it's beautiful. But the driving in it, no, that is crazy. I, I didn't think I was going to make it to work um, Saturday on time because I didn't know how long the snow was going to last. So, But it ended up stopping and it melted. They closed off some roads um, here. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty smooth transition. So, um, to, you know, driving through it or whatever. But, yeah. But um, I just thought, uh, y'all, I just do this bun up because it's raining and I just wanted to wear my hair a different way today. I, uh, everybody likes the curly um, down hair that I uh, wore the past couple of videos but I just switched it up just to because it was raining. It's real cold. It's kind of like a little kind of day. I'm going to turn up. I don't know. I can't even turn the camera around and show y'all but because I'm driving but it's just raining and cold. So imagine what raining and cold is like. That's what it is. You guys like my makeup look? I got the, um, I just threw some purple, you know, on my eyes and a nude lip today. Nothing fancy, just, you know, like a quick everyday look. I'm going to go to the gym today because I'm off um, later on. It's just about 12.30 here. It's about 12.30 here. So I got, um, I'm going to run a couple of places before, um, before the traffic gets um, heavy with the um, school, the school traffic and stuff like that, so I'm gonna run off. I'm not really, I've just got on jeans and this oversized sweater. I'm gonna white, uh, cheap dressy shirt up underneath and uh, my jeans with the slits in them. From, uh, my fashion over jeans with the slits in them and my Converse. That's what I got on today, so something simple and casual. I wanted to, um, I don't like meeting up and, and going out with people when it's raining because people up here drive crazy when it's raining. So I try to stay close to, um, where I live on days that it's raining. I think it's supposed to rain the next few days, so, but I'm just off today and I gotta do training and work this week. So, yeah, I'm just enjoying my day off to do a couple of things. But, um, yeah, we were, um, it was so funny. We were at, at work yesterday, and I was talking to the girls, some other girls that had been working there for a minute, and they were, you know, talking about some of the guys that work there, you know, how they look and stuff. And this is one, this is, I told y'all, I think I talked with y'all, this guy before, but this guy, you ever meet a guy that's too fine? It just make you mad because it's, I wouldn't even, I don't need, like, I used to, the way I picked guys before, like, in high school and probably when I got to, like, about 22, I used to pick the guys that had the nice bodies, that had the good hair. I'm talking about it was so shallow, the good hair, and, uh, 
that was popular and I'm talking about all the wrong things you look for in men was what I was picking. Hence the uh the past the the, the crazy stories. I'm gonna give y'all a story time with some of some of these people that I've encountered in my past, but I don't know. Are they in the past? So I try to leave them now. But some of them passed away. Some of them not. So it, it is what it is. But anywho. So we was just talking about some of the guys that uh, work there. And uh, we, I was like, yeah. So y'all. Um, did you, you, I, one of the girls knew who I was talking about. And the other girl didn't know who he was. I think she seen him. But she didn't know who his name was. But this guy, just imagine this person. He's got a nice body. He's light skinned. Uh, light skinned. We, and this fool has a pretty smile and dimples on both sides of his face. Then he got, like, I think his eyes are gray or something. If not, I don't know if they gray. I think, but they look, they pretty. I just know that. But anywho, so I seen this guy and he comes over. The one I think I told y'all about, he introduces himself, blah, 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 blah. And at this point, I noticed he had a wedding ring, which it don't, Nick, first of all, people, they don't stop nipping. But he had a wedding ring on and he was just, and I looked at his badge and I saw his name. And I was like, this guy, it's too fine. I don't like no too fine man. Uh, the man, I, I, it ain't have nothing to do with me being insecure, but I just know that guys are, are sluts and take any opportunity that's given to them. So if you got that, that's, that's already a bad, you know, I mean, already, a, 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 you know, you already taking that into consideration like they gonna take whatever opportunity to give it to him if they give it to him so if he know he fine i don't like a dude i told you i don't like a dude that know he fine like you can't no you got the no if you if you walking around this earth and you know you fine and all these women are telling you you're fine and you hearing, oh my God, he fine. Oh my God, look at him. All these women throwing the draws at, at you. I don't want you. I don't want the guy that knows he's fine and everybody is, um, I'm going this way. And everybody is, um, uh, is throwing their draws at because I'm, not, who am I? I mean, not trying to say I'm not special, but I'm just saying, who am I? to even put myself in that uh situation like that's dumb that's dumb as hell why would i even sit up there and be with somebody knowing that a guy is gonna take whatever opportunity almost every opportunity that is thrown at him and he's getting thrown draws and the coochie every 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 place he get because these women today they like oh no i'm finna just do it with them and don't even know this dude and just be like oh because he fine i'm gonna throw the draw i'm not finna no no and it ain't got nothing to be with it being insecure it's just i'm being logical about the situation i'm being logical about the situation a guy is gonna want a girl that on his arm that looks like something and can give him some kind of a uh, boost in his status I don't want no guy that because these these women ain't got no chill. These women will sit up there and have sex with people just because he is cute. Because I used to do stupid stuff like that when I was younger. I used to sit up there and be like, "Oh, he fine. I'm, I want him. Oh, he fine. I'm gonna get him. Oh, he fine. That I'm gonna conquer him." That's how I was. I was the real stupid. But you know, you live and you learn when you young and stuff like that. But yeah, but we were just talking about, I was like, mm-mm, he too fat. And then the guy, it was just so happy, the guy who was sitting behind him, he's darker skin, bitch with a full, with a full beard. And he's bow-legged. And this dude is in, in shape. So I'm looking like, he borderline 
dismissed too. He 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 he, he tiptoeing on that. Oh no, you ain't you ain't the one either. But I know he know he fast. So yeah, no, I I know you can't. Mm -mm. The ones that the guys that's humble and be like I could. I could uh, be ugly just in the blink of an eye and don't recognize that they're no if you find everybody else gonna recognize I, I, look I don't know it's kind of hard to explain it's kind of hard to explain if a guy is like you know just like guys who look at women, if they too perfect, they either gonna be like, okay, I bet they got all these men coming after them, and two, they gonna feel like, um, they gonna feel like, you know, it, it, it's gonna be kind of not, not intimidating a little bit, but it's like they don't like women that's too perfect, too perfect. They gonna, that is gonna make them like approach you a little bit more if it's, it's if you have some faults and they feel like you're not perfect you know what i'm saying they'll come to you and they'll be more willing to try to talk to you and get your number and all this kind of stuff if it's something about you that ain't perfect you know what i'm you you kind of get what i'm saying but anywho but this dude he too fine he too fine too perfect too sexy to all of this and i'm like uh uh sir get away from me Get away from me. He would come back over again talking about, hey, what's your, uh, ain't your name? It, it is what it, you wanted to be at this point because it don't even matter. Because, sir, it'll, it'll never happen. You too fine. I, you know, like uh, when a person st stood in the line too long when God was giving out looks. And you was in that, you was you was holding up the line because you wanted extra dashes of this. That's the type of yeah, that's that's you can only imagine. I'm talking about you remember, y'all remember, I'm showing my age now. But y'all remember uh Christopher Williams in uh New Jack City. Pretty, fine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Along that spectrum of fine. No, sir. No, sir. Mm-mm. And then I don't even like light skinned dudes no more. So, mm, no, no, uh, that's that's the devil is alive. But we was just talking about the different. We that's a shame. We at work supposed to be work, and we still here talking about these dudes. But it, we don't work around them. But mostly, I'm talking about ninety percent of the people that work there are men. Ninety percent. So when we get together and we like, hey, did you notice? Because like one of the girls who worked out that we was talking to, her old, old man worked out, but he don't work there no more. But she was like, her old man worked there. It's another girl that worked there in another um, section. She, her boyfriend works there. So I'm looking like one, I, one thing I'm not going to do ever again is date somebody that I work with. So it's just not going to happen. So mm -mm, no, I would never. No, big butt girl. No, bad. That'll never happen. But yeah, we were just being, I guess, the being guys. <laughs> and sitting up here talking about the different guys that worked there and who was fine and who was in and did you see and who what's the thing? I got a haircut. I got this lined up, girl. Did you know this? That, yeah, that's what was going on. But it's, we we so silly. But we just talk. We all just, I don't know. I ain't talk. I ain't gonna talk to nobody at work with me. That's bull. Uh -uh, I had a bad incident behind that. And I was going to tell y'all, I'm going to give y'all this quick. So this dude, right, I was talking to, and he was like, oh, he was single, da, da, da. Mind you, the person who he was dating or the ex that he had worked out to, right? And I would end up, was in, went to school with her. So I knew of her or whatever. So anywho, so you know how I guys laugh. So he going to sit up there and tell me, you know, he's single, da, 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 da. So we started talking or whatever, and come home that... He still had stuff at her house, like was transitioning and getting stuff out of her house. So this girl started calling me and harassing me and playing on my phone at like 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. And y'all know I don't play about my damn sleep. I don't play about my sleep and I don't play with women or behind no man. That's one thing I'm not going to entertain is no women behind no man. If you feel like that, that's your man and that you have him and it's just what it is, have him. It's too many men out here that's not... I mean, it's too many men out here in this world for me to be sitting up there like, I'm going to fight this girl over a dick. That ain't even... And he the one who lied at the end of the day. 
So anyway, so she playing on my phone or whatever. And she was like, I called the police on him and I got him locked up. Now your man in jail. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, can I go back to sleep now? Are you done? Are you finished? Are you done? Or are you finished? Like, what do you want me to do with that information? That's his, that's his business. Like what? So she, I was like, look, you call my phone again. If you call my phone again, I am going to, you're going to be sorry. That's all I thought of. Like, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be sorry. You're going to be sorry. So she kept on playing on my phone. And I was like, okay. So people be, look, I'm the type of person. I'm not going to, I'm going to mention to you to stop playing with me. I'm going to mention to you to not push my buttons. I'm going to mention to you to leave me alone and don't keep playing with me. And then if you're going to keep playing with me, what's going to happen is, is I'm going to sit up. I'm going to conjure up something very bad to do to you. And then once it's done, you are going to um, regret playing with me. I know that. Because once I warn you a few times, I ain't going to say a few. Once I warn you a couple of times and you keep persisting to play with me, I'm going to play with you. Not in a good way. So, she kept on playing. So, okay. So, I thought I sat up there and I um, knew that the power was in the power bill was in this dude's neck and so I was like so I called up to the power company and I told these people that I was this guy's mom and that he just got sentenced to life in prison and that I needed the power cut off immediately at this address because I had her address at this address because I don't need a high bill in this person's name, in my son's name, because he's gone to jail and we don't know when he's gonna ever get out. He, they gave him life, it is what it is. So I'm gonna need you to go cut that off immediately so I can pay the last bill and get this off. So they did it and they cut the lights off. Cause I knew that this person had a $1,300 bill in their name that they couldn't pay. That's why the bill was in that person's name. Yeah, that's what guys do. They go and tell you stuff and you use that against other bitches. But, you know, they'll let you know dudes ain't loyal. But anyway, so the next day, I go to work. And I walk in and I act like, you know, I ain't never, I ain't do nothing. I didn't say nothing to nobody about what I did because that wasn't nobody's business. That ain't nobody's business. I sat up there and I um, did my little job, went off. I was in catering. I went off, did the little job catered for the um the plant and I'm on my way back at this point so we come back and uh I come back and I'm fin you know taking out the stuff you know setting up finna get ready to uh get off I guess and she pulls up flying I'm talking about pedal to the floor flying into the facility. Baby bumping and Lil Boosie set it off. If y'all know Lil Boosie and the song set it off, y'all need to go and Google it. That's what she was bumping. Like she was about to set it off, y'all. I was I was like, oh, what's gonna go on here? Because I'm I'm just dying to see what's about to happen. So she pulls up. She pulls up to the facility and she gets out of the car just going off. Bitch. You got my power cut off, bitch. Da -da 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 -da. I'm talking about you. This dude lying. This dude sitting up here telling you this, that. First of all, I don't care what he told you. I don't even care at this point what he told me. What I care about is at the point when I told you to stop interrupting my sleep and to leave me alone. And you thought it was all fun and games. And you tried me. One thing you're not going to continue to do. Is trying me after I informed you to that don't do that no more. Like, you know how many people wanted me dead at a certain point in my life because I if I told but they did they wanted me dead, but then after I did what I did to them, 
they come back and everybody who did me dirty or tried to do me dirty or whatever, they apologize. Even this person here, she even apologized. She was like, I'm so sorry. I know you are because I told you don't play with me. But anywho, so she come bumping, bumping a little boosty out the car, going off or whatever. So she goes. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was like, I don't. What are you talking about? I did what? I don't even know where you. I know the area you live in, but I don't know your address. I don't even know anything about you. Like, I just know we went to school together, but I don't. Like, what are you talking about? I'm just denying, 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 denying. Baby, I guess she was mad because I was denying. And she goes and she pops her trunk and she pulls out again. <laughs> now, it's funny. It was funny then. And it's funny now, but it was even funnier then because I was like, so I want to get this, I get an understanding of what's about to happen because I'm dying inside. I'm like laughing, dying inside. So I'm like, so you really going to shoot me in front of all these people over a guy? That you keep telling me that ain't nothing. That you don't even want no more. And you're going to shoot me. The only thing you did. The only thing you did today. Was look stupid. And get both all us fired. That's all you just did. That's all you just did. Your power still going to be off. You still going to have to figure out a way to get the power back on. The dude's still in jail. The dude's still... Gone fool with me if I allow him. You know what I'm saying? It's like you accomplish nothing but looking foolish today and losing your job. And you was making more than both of us because you had been that long. I'm pretty sure you was. So now you you got kids, I got kids. What what did that accomplish? Nothing. She was like dumbfounded after I said that. So she put her gun back in her book bag or whatever it was in the trunk. And they persisted to walk me in the building. And they was like, we're going to have to let you go. And I was fine with that because this was a toxic, you can't keep, it was a toxic situation anyway. So it just wasn't no, even if she didn't come bumping it, it still wasn't a situation that I should have kept myself in as far as employing working now because it would have been crazy stuff because before that even happened when I was bringing my drawer and counting down my drawer and give it to her she was the person who was like the bookkeeper or whatever she would make it seem like my drawer was short bitch one thing I'm not is a thief that's one thing I'm not I'm not about to steal no special no company money that's one thing I'm not gonna do so don't even so when she was doing that it was like nope she have a vendetta against me y'all got to have somebody else count my drawer well, go back and count my draw or whatever because this bitch is sitting up here trying to set me up and no. But anyway, we got past that or whatever. But anyway, so I think it was like a year or so later, she was working at the Wendy's. And I seen her in there and she come up to me and she was like, I am so sorry. I, did, I mean, we, I, I, did, I let that go way beyond what it's supposed to have gone. Da, da, da. I said, I accept your apology, but you need to understand that when I told you to stop calling me, I meant that. When I told you to not harass me behind a dick, I meant that. And that's for anybody. Like, if I mentioned, like, me, if it's another chick involved in a situation, right, I ain't going to approach the chick because the chick don't owe me nothing. Hell, the dude really don't even owe me nothing. But if we in a relationship and I say, look, get your dogs, get your creatures, get your, get your, get your, get your open bottoms. Get get your dogs like don't have no but don't have nobody harassing me behind you. Don't embarrass me. Don't be walking around like I'm your girl and you fuck you messing around, excuse me, you messing around with somebody else. That's a no-no. Because I'm telling you, if I'm telling you I know this, I ain't telling I'm not asking you. I'm telling you I know what you're doing. I know what's going on. I'm telling you that if anything comes back to me that is an embarrassment to me. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. I'm not the type to be like, oh, I'm going to let God handle it. Nope. Nope. I'm not that let God handle it chick. That's not me. And if I, war if I warn you, 
if I warn you and you still think that you have the upper hand, nope, I'm telling you. And to wrap up this story, this guy is dead. This guy ain't even living no more. This guy is not even, no longer even with us. So imagine if she would have took my life over somebody who's not even alive now. That's crazy. I'm not finna. I done this. I got another story for y'all for some crazy stuff I did when I was younger. Or behind a guy I had a whole gun and everything, but it ain't even that serious to me. I I know how to get a, I know how to get a person back. So we're not even. But I, if I warn you to not play with me, please don't play with me. Please don't play with me. Please, I, cause I ain't got nothing. But I'm just gonna sit up here and think the worst thing I could do to make you just regret even. Mess them. Don't even do it. Please don't do it. I'm warning. But yeah, that was my little quick story time. But I almost got shot up at the job over some meat. Crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna run in here right quick. I'm running here right quick. And it's raining still. I was hoping it eased up a little bit, but it have. It's just sprinkling at this point. I'm gonna run in here, run a couple other places, and then I'm gonna go home, change my clothes, and I'm gonna go to the gym. And that's just what my day is going to be today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great morning, a great week, a great life, a great all of this stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. I don't know if it's going to be this week. It might be this week because I got training and I don't know. We're going to let the, we're going to, we're going to let the situation happen when it happens. So I am Melissa. And I am a Royal Goddess. And I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.